The new Lambda function enables us to write custom functions that handle recursion. Now, recursion is simply when a routine calls itself. I say simply, but it can be a bit mind-bending. So in this video, we'll look at an example that's easy to follow. Once you understand the structure of the function, you can apply it to more complex tasks. Now remember the Lambda function is currently only available in the Microsoft 365 beta channel, so you may not have it in your version of Microsoft 365 yet. A common example used to explain recursion is the factorial function. Now a factorial function multiplies all whole numbers from a chosen number down to one. For example, if our chosen number was five, the formula would be five times four times three times two times one, which gives us 120. Now there is already a factorial function called fact. So we would never write our own lambda for this calculation. But this is a good way to demonstrate recursion, so go with me. By definition, a factorial function can be written as our chosen number, which I'll call n, times factorial n minus 1. In other words, the result of factorial n can be calculated as n multiplied by the result of factorial n minus 1, and the call for n minus 1 can recursively descend lower and lower to 1. I'm going to call my factorial function factorial just to differentiate it from the existing fact function. And I'll just type it in this cell so we can keep it in mind while we write the lambda. Starting with lambda, now I've only got one variable, which is the number I want to find the factorial of, called n. A key component of writing recursive lambdas is to provide it with an opportunity to bail out of that recursive loop. And the bailout is always written first, so I'm going to do this with if First of all, I'm going to Alt-Enter just to go down onto the next line so the formula is easier to read. So our logical test is if n is less than 2, then we just want to return 1. That means the formula can stop evaluating here without moving on to that recursive part. Otherwise, we add the recursion that says take n times factorial of n minus 1. Close parentheses on if and my lambda. Now it's this reference to itself that can be super confusing and it also prevents us being able to evaluate the function in a cell because the name factorial hasn't been defined yet. With non-recursive lambdas, you can enter the variable values at the end inside parentheses to evaluate the formula in the cell. But if we do this with recursive lambdas, we get an error because the name of the function is being referenced in the formula before it's been defined as a name. In last week's video, I had a simple lambda that had two variables, x and y, and the formula was simply x plus y, and then I could enter in my two variable values, in that example I used 2 and 3, placing them in parentheses at the end of my lambda allows me to evaluate it in the cell. But with recursive lambdas, we must define the lambda in the name manager. So let's get rid of the value that we entered at the end. I'm just going to copy the formula and then we'll define a name for it. We're going to call it factorial, which it's picked up from this cell here, so that saved me a job. I'm going to paste it into the refers to. Click OK. Now in here, let's delete that. I can call my formula. There it is there. And I can give it the value and it evaluates. And naming lambdas is fine if it works first time like this did. But if you don't get the desired result, then toing and froing between the name manager to troubleshoot is tedious. Hopefully the Excel team will come up with a better tool for authoring lambdas soon. In the meantime, the suggestion from Microsoft is to use let and a me parameter. So let's take a look at that. First of all, I'm going to go into the name manager and just delete that one because we want to show the effect of typing in a new lambda function in a cell and being able to test it when it has recursion. Using the factorial example, we can replace the recursive call to factorial with me, passing in me as the first parameter and n as the second. Now factorial is a lambda with two parameters, me and n, and therefore we call factorial with two parameters, factorial and the value for n. The me parameter makes this possible by passing factorial as a parameter to itself, allowing it to then use that parameter to call itself. Once you're happy your lambda is returning the correct result, you can remove the first me parameter and replace the me with the lambda name that you want to use. So here we could get rid of all of this. 
get rid of the first me parameter. And instead of me here, we'd have factorial. We wouldn't need the me in here, nor would we need any of this bit. And that would be our lambda. Of course, this is going to return an error. So we just copy this and then define the name. Paste in the refers to our formula. And now we can use it like any other function. So there you have a way to evaluate recursive lambdas in the cell using a me parameter. Well, I hope that didn't hurt your head too much. You can download the Excel file for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.